I set out to make a video about time. Time's fleeting nature and unrelenting march forward. How minutes, hours, days, months add up to years and it flies by. There's something really rewarding about making things. I suppose that I enjoy video making and video editing so much because it does allow me to manipulate time, to memorialize moments. set out to recreate the Yamato delivery logo. Now this is a delivery system in Japan, so I've never actually seen a delivery truck for this service, but I have seen little Hot Wheels cars with this design. And I didn't realize until recently that it was an actual company, an actual logo. And what I find so charming about it is that it's an image of a mama cat with a kitten in her mouth. Seems fitting for a delivery service and seems a fitting thing to recreate when I'm thinking about time. Is on and I continue to create. Hoping to leave something of myself, to create something bigger than myself, something that perhaps will last longer than the time I'm given here, or be viewed and shared with others. Another way to manipulate time. So while I hoped that I would find some profound poetry written by someone else, of course, or some amazing quote about time to sum it all up, that didn't happen. And I did what anyone can do with my time this week. I made the best of it. following jump three times is a recorded instruction from the Marina Abramovich method instruction cards to reboot your life 
I've made my way through several of these instructions and I always find them very thought provoking, really make me think and see things in a new way. Jump three times. Your past experiences feel heaviest when you try to remove them. Invite the weight of your past with you into the future, upwards and beyond. Stand up and close your eyes. Feel gravity's pull. Then summon all internal energy available to you. Lift your legs and jump up. Keep your eyes closed as you jump let out a scream. Try to feel this moment as it unfolds. When your feet reconnect with the earth, consider the moment in hindsight. Did the jump make you feel lighter or heavier? Did you feel as if you were flying or falling? Was the scream forced or imminent? Was the voice that escaped you your own? When you close your eyes, do you see anything new? When you ask your body to scream, does it want to? Repeat this jump two more times. Trust that your body can find its way back to stability each time. Oh, hello. You're still watching. Well, the video's over. I'm just playing some Alien vs. Predator on my OK Game Boy. I've been meaning to tell you about this. But I'll have to save that for a rainy day. And it's not rainy today. <laughs>